Now, if you just join us, we're talking about something that I've seen on social media. It was all over Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, about a, a lady that uh, her baby daddy came to bring their child some food. The problem is she has three other kids, and he only brought food for his kid. Hey, my baby daddy come here with one f***ing meal for my child, but I have three other kids. We have one kid together, but he only want to come and bring one thing to McDonald's, but what about my other kids? How come you can't feed my other kids at McDonald's though? Like that's bogus as hell. Like you're not finna sit here and make my other kids feel left out and you're only bringing one child something to eat. Look, there he go. And I bet you he only got one thing in there. I bet you he don't even... I'm finna expose this out of him so people can see how he really is. It ain't more than, it ain't more than enough food in that bag for everybody. What's up? Because I'm finna expose you. What? Because that don't look that don't look enough for all my kids. That don't look enough for all my kids. What is that? That's just one burger, one burger, burger one fry. What he like? What do you mean? Okay, what about my other kids? What about your other kids? Young, why the, okay, but them your kids' siblings though. Them my kids, them your kids' siblings though. So, what you so he finna, my other kids finna be left out. You didn't feed them. You know I don't get my food stamps to the seven. Lisa, how is that my problem? Is he wrong for that? <sighs> I say no. Okay, explain. That is, I have, that's my child. I'm doing the right thing. I'm taking care of my child. And maybe I can only afford for my child. So I'm bringing the kid McDonald's. And if I do it every day, McDonald's is like seven fifty for a Happy Meal. So now I got to pay seven fifty times four, thir over $30 for a Happy Meal? Now, now, what's going to happen when I want to put my son in a better school? I put him in Catholic man, school. Shut up, man. If, I can't, afford, kids, if I can't afford to buy four, if I can't afford to buy four kids uh, McDonald's, I damn sure can't afford to put my kids in no better school. All right. But okay. even when it's time to buy them clothes, <laughs> I'm going to buy my kids Jordan. I'm supposed to buy all the kids Jordans? First of all, you ain't getting no Jordans. If I can't afford four Happy Meals or four Value Meals, I'm not affording no Jordans I'm either. I'm taking care of my kids. I thought about this, right? Um, number one. If you can't afford to buy four kids McDonald's, then you know you should have McDonald's at the house. You should think of something else. Maybe buy a pizza for all of them. Me personally, I'm the type that like to see everybody eat. Like everybody eats, B. So even though those not my kids, I would have bought all the kids food for another reason. I'm petty. The only person who shouldn't have got no food in that goddamn house was the baby mama. Okay? I would have bought all them kids food, and I would have had all... You know why I would have bought them kids food? Because I want all them kids on my side talking about how much they love me. Oh, I love uh, whatever his name is, Darius. Darius is so cool. Where's Uncle Darius, mommy? I, just to piss her off. The only person who gets nothing to eat in that house is the baby mama. No, because she's going to be bumming off my friend's fries anyway, bumming off my kid's fries anyway. So if I want to take my kid to the fair... My kid, the great adventure. Or my kid to the park. I gotta take all the little four of the little kids too. I would. I mean, I, I'm telling you, I would just for petty I even reasons. Kids. I would just for petty reasons because you can go in there and be like, yeah, you let all them bum ass dudes nut up in you. You know what I'm saying? Now you got these three kids. They can't even afford no McDonald's. I'd be in there flexing hard. All them kids would be on my side, loving me, loving when I come around. The only person who don't get nothing is the baby mama. Okay? I don't know. That's about it. That. Nah. That's the only one who wouldn't eat in this house. Nah, B. Hello, who's this? Good morning, good morning, good morning. What's your name? Hope everyone's doing well. Hello? Yeah, what's your name, bro? Hey, Mike from Miami. How you doing, Dominican MV? I'm How good. <laughs> I'm good, Mike. So uh, uh, you you yeah. in a similar situation, bro? Well, I'll be I'll be honest to you, yes I am. But my disease here, this is what the problem is, uh, MV. That if you buy food, uh McDonald's, it's stuff for the other kids. Why? Because they're going to feel like left out. You know what I'm saying? They where their kids at? Where their daddy's at? But that's why you, you know, do it. Forget about that. Forget about all that daddy stuff. You as the person, right? So the mother thing, she feels that she's entitled in a way. Support all my other kids. You know what I'm saying? But what I would do is I would take my child and take them to McDonald's instead of Making the other kids feel left out. But, oh, so now, now you your kid, your kid comes home with the Happy Meal toy. Them kids That's ain't right. stupid. I got McDonald's. I got McDonald's. You didn't get none. You didn't get none. You can't do that to them kids. No, you can't. Might as well give it to them in your face. Hello, who's this? Hey, this is Courtney calling from 803. 803, the Metro, Columbia SC. What's happening? What you think, Courtney? What's going on? This is. 
He right now. That's his kid. He ain't, he ain't got to bring them other kids food. Them ain't his kids. There you go. Well, no, no. Listen, he's not entitled to. I agree with both of y'all. You and him, he's not entitled to. But you got. Well, I also, I also agree with you too, Charlamagne. Because I mean, just as a person, as a person, he can at least bring him a five dollar pizza now. That's right. Pizza pizza. For real, but I, 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 I'd rather buy a whole pizza for all the kids, you know what I'm saying? Because you got to flex on her other baby daddies and you got to flex on her. My kid likes McDonald's. I'm worried about my kid. Yeah, but you got to you gotta have cheerleaders in that house. You already got your child, but when you got three other dudes' child saying how great you are, you making that baby mama feel terrible. The only person who shouldn't get no food is the baby mama. Remember in Paid in Full when Cameron just started taking away all the Chinese food? You don't get no shrimp fried rice. You don't get no egg Growth. That's what I would be doing to the baby mama. But the kids, kids gonna eat me. Nah, man. I got my kids. What Lil Nas said when he was up here? Hey, I don't wanna talk about Lil Nas he eat. <laughs> no, I do <know>. What? <laughs> what? What you talking about? I don't know what this means. What is what oh, you talking about? Goodness, Where's right. this going? What are you talking about? Oh my god. Alright, forget it. Eight of What? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Five eight five one oh five one. In this situation, is the dad wrong? He got food for his kid, and the, and his baby mom got three other kids. He ain't supposed to get the. He, he He's not entitled kid. to, but you should. I mean, that's the type of person I am, anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm you just, got it. If, if I call, if, if I call, and I be like, "Yo, you, you want something to eat?" And there's other people there, I'm gonna be like, "Yo, ask such and such if they want something too." If you ain't got it, if you ain't got twenty eight fifty, then nobody should be eating McDonald's. Buy a pizza. 800-585-1051. How we get to 2850? <laughs> <laughs> why, how we come to this number? It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. I don't see <sighs> anything wrong with it. He taking care of his kids. That's because that's you beige and petty. That's responsibility. That's that's because you pay you beige and you petty. Okay. Yes. I personally. Where your daddy at? I'm Where the, your daddy at? <laughs> I'm the type of person I want everybody to eat. I don't you know I don't even have to know you, but it's, I just think it's rude and disrespectful if you get one person something and don't get everybody else something. So even though those are not my kids, I would have got all the kids food. Plus, I would have wanted to stunt on all her other baby daddies. I told you, the only person who didn't deserve to eat in this situation was the baby mama. If I could afford it, that's different. But if I can't, I got to take care of my kid. Hello, who's this? This is Jasmine. Hey, Jasmine. Good morning. Hi. So I saw the video yesterday. And if you notice in the beginning of the video, she was waiting on him. And she said, you do this every day. But if he does it every day, she should be better prepared. You know, ask him, hey, if I give you a couple of dollars, can you get something for my other kids? Or she said her food stamps don't come until X day. Okay, you need to be better, you know, with spinning about your food stamps. Because Y'all, that don't make sense. Damn, I didn't even catch that. Now I'm really bugged. Out. I hear the food stamps evil. No, forget the food stamps. Why the hell them little kids eating McDonald's every day? Them kids need a better goddamn diet. Now I understand that they may not have the proper money, but they can be eating some healthier options. Jesus Christ. Hello, who's this? Good the morning. My name is History, the Slave Lord. How y'all feeling? What's up, bro? What, what's History, the Slave Lord. I ain't messing with him. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is. Don't act foolish this morning. What's going on? What's up, man? What's your thoughts, brother? <laughs> I think there's nothing wrong with what that man did. He has no obligation, no physical, emotional, or legal obligation to do anything. Well, I don't want to hear from you. You a slave lord, so I'm sure that you treat everybody terribly. Slave. Okay, you treat everybody like a slave. You're a slave lord. You know what I mean? I don't talk to you. Hello, you don't let. You don't this? care about nobody eating. Hello. Yo. Yo, it's top of the morning, guys. Top of the morning. What's your name, bro? Yo, Shmoney. Yo, Charlamagne. Happy birthday, my brother. Cancer Th- gang, man. Cancer gang. Thank you, brother. Appreciate What's your you. Thought, Shmoney? Yo, listen, man. That that whole that whole situation was crazy, man. It's just like it depends. I will buy food for all the kids. You know what I'm saying? Personally, that's just who I am. But it depends, man. She give him a hard time seeing his kid and getting on child support. Man, then bleep them other kids, man. I'm taking care of mine. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, oh, that's what Lil Nas said. F the old kids. Oh, Lord. Hello, who's Y'all going to make the Supreme Court think, rethink this abortion ban with this conversation here, bro. Yeah, Lord yeah, have mercy. Yeah. TJ, what up, man? What's your thought, TJ? Man, I think it's kind of crazy, you know what I mean? For a while, I've been going through that with my baby mama. She got three different baby daddies. Her last baby passed away. But I had to take her to court to get this. Hold on. How old was the baby? How old was the last baby when she passed away? I, I think it was like born born dead. You know what I mean? I'm, I mean, I'm still, still, still born, like that, sir. It's still called born. still born. Still born, sir. Boy, you got to love right, niggas. Bad. This motherfucker said born dead. We know what he meant. Born dead. <laughs> Word to God. He that ain't funny, exactly but damn, man. man. Born, dead. born dead. I know, I know, brother. But so anyway, so I had to take her to court. And now she got my kids brainwashed. They don't even want to come see me. 
Well, that's why you got to bring the kids McDonald's every day. If you was bringing them kids McDonald's every day and Happy Meals. I ain't bringing nobody else's kid McDonald's. That's the problem. Them kids would have been cheerleading for you in that house. They would have loved you. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. That ain't me, bro. I don't know why y'all don't want these kids to eat. <laughs> Yo, let's go to one more call. This is wild to me, man. Hello, who's this? Man, this is Wolf, representing 317 that town. Hey, good morning. Good morning, good morning. What you think, Wolf? Man, I'm going to be honest with you. He's handling the obligations that he needs to handle. He's being an active father. Nobody told her to go out there and have however many baby daddies that she got and that they not all as good of fathers as him. Now, has she probably approached it a little bit differently if he's like me and just asked because some kids is going without? I'm sure he probably would have went ahead and did it. But when you start approaching with that negativity, approaching with that with that aggression and being loud, oh, hell no, I'm done. Nope. That's why the only person who shouldn't have ate was her. Them kids should have got some food. I'm going to tell y'all something else. What? Young Thug said something before he got locked up. He what said he everybody say? can't afford to have kids. That's true. This, to me, is one of those examples because this is ridiculous. Hello, who's this? Hello, this is uh, Berenz, Georgia. How are you? Hey, Berenz, turn your radio down. All right. Now, what's your what's your uh, thoughts, Berenz? Me, personally, I like, I, growing up, there was three of my kids, and, you know, I shared a dad with one of, with my brother, but not my sister, and seeing him take care of, you know, kids that aren't his, like, I, I get where she's coming from, but you can't expect him to take care of your kids all the time, like, his kid is his priority. All of her kids are her first priority, but you can't expect him to do what you would expect him to do every single time. And especially with, you know, gas prices being up, uh, uh, menu prices being See? up. That's right. Well, yeah, but I mean, you know, right. listen, I'm not saying y'all wrong. The man is not entitled, so. but think about all the resentment that he's causing amongst that young man and, and, and the rest of his siblings. That's not my fault. Uh, it it kind of is. I a bunch of kids with a bunch, bunch of baby daddies. Where those, where those fathers? I, listen, I'm I... am taking care of my responsibility, my son. I agree with all of that, but it's just hard for me to sit around and watch anybody not be able to eat, especially some kids, man. Nobody said they couldn't eat. They just not eating McDonald's. I don't know what they eat. Peanut butter the way, the way she was yelling and complaining, that's right. It sounds like nothing but white bread in that house <laughs> and lunch meat. <laughs> lunch meat. <laughs> okay. Goodness gracious. Jesus what's, Christ. What's the moral of the story? The moral of the story is, man, and, you know, treat people the way you want to be treated because what's going to happen is uh, somebody's going to do that to his child one day. You know what I mean? I, 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 wanna tr I would treat other people's children the way I would want somebody to treat my child. We say it takes a village, right? Yeah. If those other baby daddies ain't showing up and you the father that's showing up, even if you're just showing up for your child, I don't think there's anything wrong with showing up with uh, showing up for them other kids. But that baby mama would have got nothing. Not one single french fry. Damn it, man. Not a nugget. Not a Big Mac. Damn sure not no quarter pound. Damn it, man. All right, well, we got rumors coming up. We got to talk about Wendy Williams now. Uh, yesterday, she showed her feet on TV and said she only has 5% of feeling in that foot. Man, shut up. <laughs> like, like, shut up, man. You couldn't think of no better tees, man. Jesus Christ. This guy, man. This guy is so crazy. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about it when we come back. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Happy birthday, Charlotte Bay. 